dancing begin. Well, we're very happy to bring you this little story about doing classic grounded theory. Well, let's do it. We first enter the field. This is our field. And we start with an open question like, what about this phenomenon that interests me? We then start collecting and coding our data as we collect them. This data can be qualitative data, quantitative data, music, films or photos, all is data. We also use field notes to capture what is going on and we write memos while collecting further data. We keep coding for incidents in the data. Incidents are indicators of concepts in our data. What we're looking for is the main concern, not our main concern as researchers, but the main concern of the, of the area that we are studying. Throughout this process, we are writing memos, lots of memos. While coding and memoing, we ask questions of the data. What is actually happening in the data? What is the data a study of? What category does this incident indicate? Throughout this process, we keep comparing all collected data. And then, after lots and lots of work, our first victory, we find the main concern. But open coding is not done yet. We are now looking for the core category that explains the main concern. To be core, the category must appear frequently in our data and must account for much of what is happening with regards to the main concern. We will recognize a core category as it will have a real explanatory grab. So we go back to the data and collect some more data. We code further and we write memos. Conceptual pollution by existing literature must be avoided and an imaginary wall must be built to protect our emerging concepts and avoid polluting them. We can, however, read the literature in other areas to continue and develop our theoretical sensitivity. And after more data collection, more coding, constant comparison, memoing, memo sorting, here comes our second victory. The core category finally emerges. The core category is now known and we can move on to selective coding. Now we limit further coding to the core category and any other concepts that appear to be related in some way to this core category. These concepts can be dimensions or properties of the core category. And we collect additional data we code, we memo const and constantly compare towards saturating the variables that relate to the core category. We now have the core category and its related variables, but we do not have the full theory as yet. It is a bit like the Indian fable of the elephant and the blind scientists. Each blind scientist tries to identify the animal, but he is only able to touch and feel one part of it and he tries to guess, wrongly of course, the whole of it. It is the same for us. We have the different elements of our theory, but we don't have a global picture yet. It is therefore necessary to go up a further level of abstraction so that we can see the pattern or model or framework that integrates our theory. In order to see the whole picture properly, we need to do theoretical coding. Theoretical codes help us to integrate and model our grounded theory by suggesting the relationships between our core category and its related concepts. So, in theoretical coding, we are exploring and looking for the relationships between the core category, the concepts and their properties. The more we memo and sort our memos, the more we discover these emerging relationships and obtain a whole picture, that is our full apple, that is our next victory. After lots and lots of work, we reach theoretical integration. We have, at last, at long last, our grounded theory. And it fits and it works to explain what is going on in the area that we have studied. It has relevance, but it is only a first draft yet. We now must break the wall that isolated us from existing literature. 
especially the literature related to the core category. This will help us position our work with respect to existing literature. It will also help us to write the final, proper, publishable version of our theory and perhaps win our final challenge, that is, win a place in the library for our new grounded theory.